All right, time for another math easy. So we're gonna discuss step by step integrals with Wolfram Alpha. It's WolframAlpha.com. This is a pretty powerful uh, tool. I just figured out a while ago. Actually, you can actually do step by step integrals. You can also do derivatives and whatnot, but integrals I find pretty ridiculous. So now let's. Uh, I'll just show you what I mean if I just go to WolframAlpha.com. And then basically let's uh, type in uh, basically a any kind of function and we can even go sine squared, let's say x times sine 2x. So when you type it in, this is yeah, this also uh, basically gives a bunch of info on it. There's the input, there's uh, different forms, there's different identities for it. But uh, what I'm interested in actually is, is integrals. Cause, uh, I haven't seen one that, that would do it step by step for free but yeah there's right here you can just click on show steps and it shows you the steps here this one is just use substitution and whatnot and basically yeah there's a derivative uh, there's the uh, integral right there you can also do a derivative there and show steps for that too so as, as you see you can see these steps and uh, they're all correct I'll, I'm gonna do an example here just to illustrate it here and you could also do uh, complex ones let's say hyperbolic x with a lawn x inside, so I don't know what this is. <clears throat> yeah, so it graphs it out for you and whatnot. And then if you go scroll down to the steps, and basically tells you all the steps to do this one. Well, uh, I just want to do a quick example, and then we'll see if the steps follow exactly what uh, what I would do. Let's say example. Uh, cosine of x sine squared of x minus 2 sine of x I'm picking this example just because the steps in doing this is pretty is just pretty uh, different from what you're used to so basically here what you could do is use substitution here basically let u equals to sine of x and then the derivative of this du is just equal to cosine of x dx and now what we could do here, uh, just plug this all back in there. So we're going to get dx is cos, so this is equals to basically du, these two here, dx and that. So we're going to get du here is going to be u squared minus 2u minus 8. Now we could actually uh, factor this out. This, this part here could equal to, well, this one would just be minus it's a number times itself equals the number times the number equals negative eight and adds up to this and this one would just be negative four and u plus two you can see my factoring video but basically this one if you foil it out you're gonna get this so so then here now what we could do uh, so we'll just write that down this equals two well let's go one over u over four u plus two du so now what we could do is uh, use partial fractions here. Um, yeah, I'll do a video on this uh, later, basically how, how, why I do all this one here. So we could simplify this one here to a, uh, just write it down like this, u plus 2 equals to a over u minus 4 plus b over u plus 2. And then if we just multiply both sides by u minus 4, bracket uh, u plus 2 we're gonna get 1 equals 2 a u plus 2 plus b u minus 4 if you expand this out we're gonna get a u plus 2 a plus b u minus 4 4 b so now here this is one here we have to compare the like terms put put everything together with the like terms, and in this case, put all the u's together. So we're gonna have a plus b, and then here we're gonna have uh, this one's just gonna be 2a minus 4b. So, as you can see here, this one uh, there's no u on the left side, so this has to add up to zero somehow. So, it has to equal to zero, and this has to add up to one. Well, yeah, that's pretty obvious from here. Okay, so you'll just have an a plus b equals to zero and 2a minus 4b is equal to 1. And this one here, we could rearrange it to have a equals negative b. Yeah, a equals negative b here, and then f from this we have 
Yeah, we're just gonna yeah from this we plug this back in here. We're gonna have two a minus. It's actually gonna be plus four a equals to one because we plug this back in there. Now we're gonna have a six equals to one or a equals to one over six, and likewise b is gonna be equal to negative one over six. And then if we plug this back into our integral, we're gonna get we're gonna get something like this. We're gonna have a this one's going to be, well, 1 over 6. This one's going to be u minus, what is it, 2, I think. You know, u minus 4. This one's going to be, well, minus this one, 1 over 6, uh, times 1 over u minus 2. And this is all, this is what we just changed that integral to. So now we could actually do the derivative of this one, the antiderivative or integral is going to be, just going to be 1 over 6 <clears throat> ln of u minus 4 minus 1 over 6 ln of u minus 2. Then we plug back uh, u is equal to sine of x. We're going to get the, the final answer is going to be 1 over 6 ln sine of x minus 4 minus 1 over 6 ln sine of x minus 2. So yeah, we use partial fraction and whatnot to get the final answer of this one. And you'd be surprised, Wolfram Alpha would do the same thing here. We're just gonna, here, so this we'll plug this one into Wolfram. Let's just type it in. This is pretty amazing. Cosine of x divided by sine squared of x minus 2 times sine of x minus 8 all bracket so there's the input there's a graph this is a bigger scale graph different forms the roots and let's go to the derivative so yeah the log here the yeah, this is also ln yeah, log uh, x is the natural uh, logarithm. That's they just write log for some reason. Okay, so let's just show the steps here. As you can see here, the steps they do uh, in this one, they they substitute u is equal to sine x, and then they get du is cos x uh, dx. They plug that in, you're gonna get this. So you're gonna factor here. Now you're gonna use partial fractions again. They just skip that step, but they. They showed that you had to do partial step, partial fractions, so that's what I did. And then they basically get one over six as the a and b. Then you break it up up to break it up, and then you basically you could also plug those back in, or I just did the integral right away. Is it integral of one over p is log p? I, I didn't have to substitute this one; I just did it right away. And yeah, you're gonna get. They actually did an extra step there. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, the answer is the same. They do all the same steps. They get log. This one log is natural log in this case. It is. A, you can just read that just under it. So yeah, and then you get the same answer as I did. Then this one's one over six. And basically, yeah, it followed similar steps. Well, that's all. I've all for that. I just wanted to show that you can do this with Wolfram Alpha. It's pretty amazing. I just wanted to to see how how the steps are compared to mine. But uh, that's all for today. Uh, and. You can download these notes uh, like always in the Dropbox link below. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.